Thank you all for coming. Bye, Ma. We're married for 25 years. And we're each other's better house. You know, sometimes when they quarrel, they will wish for each other's death. But I'm so sorry. I don't know why I said that. Hey, you're here. An Wong, you're late on your first day. I'm sorry, you okay, I'm tired. I overslept. Wait until you work here for 15 years. Do you still miss this place? I hated this place when I was young. It hasn't changed a lot. I know. I still hate it. This is your ma's table. You can work here for now. Try to keep it tidy, not like your ma. Where did pass it? Over there. To keep them from marrying each other? No, for feng shui. This is the interview room where we record self-intro videos for our clients. This is our consultation room where we hold our consultations. This is the roof where you can come up for the view. The PIE. You can smoke here if you want. I don't smoke. Bluff! Here's our happy board. These are all the lovebirds we have brought together over the years. We match them, we take them out for dates, they like each other, the rest is up to them. And we take their money. Are they siblings? So, excited to work here or not? Nope. Why? I'm only here because you needed help. I'm not staying long. <laughs> Funny! That was what I said when I joined too. You know, I always thought that I got a degree just so that I don't have to work here. Your pa and ma work here just to get you a degree. Chin up. I have a client coming in later, but I'm going out. Here are some of the questions we normally ask. Try to do an interview. How does this place even make money? I mean, why don't people just use Tinder? Tinder? Tinder is just looking at faces. It's either swipe or don't swipe. You make expectations just to disappoint yourself. And how is it different from what we do here? Love shop, got the human touch. Hello? Is that Jeremy? Yes, I'm calling from Love Shop. Are you coming in for your appointment today? Oh, then see you. Mm. And also, most of them are ugly, so Tinder doesn't work. So, it says here that you like your partner to be career-minded? Yes, you know, because I'm an e-entrepreneur, I have a very hectic work life. Okay. Um, what do you hope your partner brings into your life? Uh, stability. Because, you know, as an e-entrepreneur, I work like really long hours. So I need someone who will like, uh, handle the domestic side of uh, things and, you know, take care of things at home. So you want a housewife? What? No, no. I like career-orientated women. I like my woman to know what she wants in life. What do you want them to want in life? To love and support my e-entrepreneurship. Hi. Hi. Just sit there, yeah. Okay, um, can you smile? Mm. Uh, less stiff. You... <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's great. 
Give me a second. Okay. Alright, you know what? Uh, whenever you're ready, go. Yo, what's up everyone? I am Jeremy, I'm 29 years old and I am an e-entrepreneur. So I'm always out for, you know, self-development, self-developing. What I am tomorrow is always better than what I am today. And yeah, I've been like this ever since I discovered e-entrepreneurship, which was in uh, 2011-ish. Yeah, I was in my third year of poly and like... Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, that was a bit too LinkedIn. Can you talk more about your hobbies? What you like? Things that I like other than e-entrepreneurship. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy. I like to go to the gym uh, because the gym that I go to, uh, they have very pretty girls there. Uh, I also like to look at abs. So uh, I'm looking for a girl who is like very career-minded because I'm an e-entrepreneur and you know I work like long hours always grinding and I need someone to like take care of my domestic side and like my house affairs you know so that I don't have to deal with all that because ever since like 2011 when I discovered e-entrepreneurship which was my third year of poly like things have been like going like so great like, how was he grinding, hopeless you know, he doesn't know how love works that's why he's paying us Ah, that's exactly my point. You can't just pay money to find a career-minded housewife and call it love. That is not love. Career-minded housewives are not that hard to find. Hi, um, my name is Karen Go. I'm 31 years old this year. I work in online customer service. I will consider myself a career-minded housewife. What I will look for in a romantic partner is actually very simple. Uh, he has to be somewhere very humorous. Hello, this is Love Shop. I'll come down now. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Aunt Wong! It's not working out. It's not working out at all. He's not who I'm looking for. He's not even close to my type. Gina, relax. Now, this is the fourth date that you have arranged for me. But it's clearly not working out. So either there's no one out there for me, or you basically suck as matchmaking. I badly wanted this to work. Tell me what you don't like about him. He's so old. And he doesn't like to go out. He doesn't like to cook. He doesn't like to talk. I was the one that was doing all the talking. I might as well stay at home and talk to myself. And he didn't even laugh at my jokes. What jokes? We were eating, and he dropped his spoon. So I said, why don't you spoon me? And he looked at me like, oh, to think that I waited so long for this? Come here. Look at him. Sometimes, it's not about the things you can see in him. It's about the things in you. Me? He's old. You're too youthful. You need his stability. He doesn't cook, but he'll eat anything you cook. The food here is garbage. But look, he finished his plate. He stays indoors. So he won't cheat on you. And he doesn't talk because you talk too much. I... What I'm saying is, he's the perfect one for you. Mm. Love is about perspective. When it's not there, you create it. That's why I'm Cupid. You know, it's a fantasy of meeting the one. And then they're happy for like what? Three days, one month, a year, and then they get their hearts broken. And then whose fault is that? But then, some people really find the one from this kind of things that. No, but are they really the one or they're just the one because they want them to be the one, you know? Ah, oh, I tell you, I really hate to eat crabs. Yep, yep, yep. Use that, use that, use that, use that. Ah. So how much are you getting paid? Well, I technically own the place, so I can pay myself everything. Yeah. I think you should ask for a raise. 
Peace is not even making any money. And I'm only working until the end of fair. Is your aunt gonna take over? Nope. I'm closing it down. Oh, okay, cool. Felicia, this is a big thing in my life. Can you just for once pretend that you care? Okay, so you are shutting down your parents' business and you're sad. I'm not sad. It just... Economically, it makes sense. Okay, and then again, that's not really why I'm shutting it down, so... No, I... It's like... Selling fantasies. I don't like that. You know, it's like... Running a false religion. <laughs> Lol. All these people are looking for love, right? For companionship, intimacy, whatever. They're lonely. They think they're gonna find the love of their lives in a shop. But they're wrong. It's easy to be with someone and think that you're in love. In a matchmake first date or 25 year old marriage. If you force something that is not meant to be, it never ends well. You know, I've always wanted my parents to shut down the shop. And now I will. Thank you.